This is this is gonna be trouble. This is trouble. Here's the oh look out. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Don't bite me. Look at this guys. We've strung the chicken up. I want him to just be able to rip at some of it. Look at that. Just showing you what damage he can do. What do you guys think? Is this kind of a cool way to feed Slinky? Oh, that's awesome. He is the king of the camp for sure, and I love to spoil him, and I love to see what he's capable of. Ooh, boy, have I hit the mother load, man. This is awesome. We've got a whole bunch of chicken that was in a freezer that defrosted, and they can't sell it to human beings, so I was called, and we got a whole bunch of it. I shared some with Jerry, uh, but today I'm gonna feed off some of it. We're gonna freeze some of it, because it really won't hurt the animals to refreeze it, and then feed the gators, and came in, and all those good, uh, good critters that we have here at the camp, but so stoked that I actually got it. We also have two quail that were donated. Uh, by a quail farmer, so I'm gonna feed those off as well. Uh, but first, I'm gonna put what I'm not gonna use today in the freezer, and uh, boy, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun with Slinky. We're gonna do some enrichment with him. I think you guys will enjoy this, uh, but more importantly, Slinky is gonna enjoy it himself. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to longtime supporter, Kristen McIntosh. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Okay. First stop is going to be our friend, Princess Buttercup. She should like these quail. We'll just make it look like this. Look out, Lobo. Stay. Oh, there we go. So she's grabbed it. Lobo listens so well now, guys. It's awesome. Oh, good girl. Oh, look, she's got a tick right by her eye that I've got to pull off. But she's in feed right now, so I'll go ahead and let her finish that. And um, then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pull that tick off here. We're going to fill this up. We're just cleaning it out. And uh, yeah, she's going to be doing her thing. Very, very good. I'll go get some more of the food. Get the next quail ready for her. I like using these tongs. I got them at the Daytona Reptile Show last weekend from my friend Eric Erb who's got all kinds of really cool um, snake tools, reptile tools, pretty good stuff. So let's go ahead, see how this is doing. Looks pretty good, she, we pulled this out, and I gotta just find the hole, there it is. And we'll let that fill up. Look at her go. She's gonna finish that thing pretty darn quick, I think. So yeah, we had a quail farmer come down uh, who's a friend of uh, the channel, enjoys the channel, and um, Jerry and I got a bunch of quail for our reptiles, which is fantastic because it's a great source of food. They get a whole prey item here. Uh, I think it's just the way to go. And nothing gets wasted, which is nice. So let's see, is she gonna eat that or what? Oh boy, what kind of mood are you in, girl? Yep, we gotta be careful here. She's locked on to me. We don't want that. We don't want that. I gotta shake it, kind of move it around so she thinks it's alive and she'll go ahead and finish the job right there. I don't know why she didn't decide to get this one. Who knows? But I'm also gonna go ahead and put in a chicken. She will eat these chickens. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick a nice one here for her. Oh, something easy. So she'll have herself a really good meal. And um, the good thing about her is, I gotta just get this thing snipped. Get it snipped. Oh my gosh, guys, this is just not easy to do with one hand. Hang right there. Hang right there with the chickens, my friends. Ah, there we go. Perfect. All right, Lobo, you stay. Stay. 
Uh, he would definitely not like to meet this. Lobo, down. Nope, down. Lobo, down. That's a big snake, see? He's not listening. It's a little too much. Out, 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 out. I don't want you in here, buddy. I love you, but you're not allowed in here. We wouldn't want Lobo to get hit by this girl now, would we? All right, let's go ahead. We'll throw this down here. And she'll nab this later. But we've got a lot more work to do. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, this is not easy. It's like shrunk, shrink wrap. Shrinking. Oh my gosh. This is not easy. I thought they came right out of the bag. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's always so much going on here. Hey, what are you doing? Get back, back. Okay, I'm just gonna let this fill up and uh, when you next see me, we're gonna be doing some more feeding for the monitors. Get going, boy. All right, this is not gonna be easy to do with one hand, so I'm gonna set you guys up here. I gotta get a piece of chicken on this string here and string it up and I want him to kinda rip at it and pull at it and work for it. Uh, I think it would be a nice way to enrich him. Uh, but the problem is, is getting the chicken on the string uh, without him crawling up me and uh, just going nuts. So here we go. I'm going to walk out and get a chicken. Let's see if this works. Oh, crap. He sees the chicken, people. Over here. Oh, yeah. This is not going to be easy. I, I can't even get back in. Look out. This is this is gonna be trouble. This is trouble. I gotta get this. We got Lobo, we got a lot going on. I got a lot happening, friends. Here it is. Here's the oh look out. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Don't bite me. I'm also not good at knots, it turns out. We gotta figure a knot out. Does anyone know how to tie a knot? Because this is not working. Let's shut the door. Holy smokes, what an ordeal. I can't believe I can't figure this out. He's gonna climb up me to get to this chicken. I don't want that. There we go. That's something of a knot. Gotta get him a little more Oh, I know, Slinky. Oh, that's my leg. He's gonna get frustrated, but I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, so look at this, guys. We've strung the chicken up. I want him to just be able to rip at some of it. Look at that. Just showing you what damage he can do. So cool. And this is good enrichment because he actually gets to shred off parts of the chicken and he's gotta work for it. We don't just want our animals to be fed. We want them to have to work for it. Look at this. Look how strong he is. Wow, he got that leg, no problem. Pretty cool. Good job, buddy. Holy smokes. All right, there's more. There's more here. Got a whole chicken for him. Look at that. What do you guys think? Is this kind of a cool way to feed Slinky? Let me know in the comments below. It's just a fun thing to do. And you can hear the bone snapping. Look at that, look at those teeth. Now that could be, oh, look at a shake here. It's like I'm watching a Komodo dragon. These guys are closely related to the Komodo dragons. And you might even be able to start to see some of his uh, teeth as well. Yeah, they're the second largest lizards in the world. But you can see the damage already done to this bird. He's got a wing, he's going for an extremity. 
He's gonna clamp on and he's just gonna keep pulling at it. Amazing. Come on, buddy. He saw Lobo a little bit. Let's see what he does here. Remember, these guys are pretty smart. Perfect. Perfect bite. Look at that. Oh, he's getting some there. Awesome. Beautiful job. Got that whole thigh and leg. Wild, man. He is just an efficient predator. Oh, in this case, he's a scavenger. But uh, really, really cool. And he'll digest all of it. That's another cool thing, is it's a really good meal for the guy. Come on, come on. There you go. How cool is this? I need to come up with a better system though. Maybe I can get a hook that I can hang the meat on and just have him do this. Look at, look at his mouth. Slinky. Good boy. Oh, that's so cool. You can look right down into him. Wild. I know someone else who wants chicken. My puppy dog. Let's do this. Oh, cool. Good job. Get it, Slink. Get it, Slinks. There's a little piece. Got the way, a lot bit of a back off of it. I wonder if he would think about using this. Whoa, that's my head. <laughs> I got a chicken hitting my hat. That is amazing, man. Let's see. Because I like the fact that this moves. So it stimulates him, you know? Look at that really good shot on the ribs there. Just uses all his weight. Come on. Oh! Come on, Slinky. Oh, that's awesome. Can you imagine if that was your leg or arm? Just incredible how those teeth can shred. Look at this. He's really shredded that bird. This is kind of like a uh, pinata. Nice job, buddy. Eventually, he'll break it off that string. Wild. I love it. He's getting the bone, the skin, the meat, everything he needs to stay happy and healthy. Good boy. We love Slinky. He is the king of the camp for sure, and I love to spoil him. And I love to, to see what he's capable of. It really is impressive when you can see what these animals do. And of course, we've got this nice large enclosure for him, and it's just a really cool habitat that allows him to show us all of his behavior. Look at that, he's going for the front end. Good boy, good boy. Oh, he's got some meat there. He's gonna get into the breast. Oh, listen to his mouth. And his teeth should rip that, and might even rip that string. Wow. This is impressive. Good boy, Slinky. This is the kind of fun thing you get to do when you have these kind of prey items. Uh, when, when I get into uh, getting the you know chicken and we're gonna get some hog heads for the um, gators and even for Slinky, you can string it up and really allow him to show us just what he's capable of doing as a monitor lizard. Here's some of the skin he's just picking. Nothing goes to waste. Everything gets eaten. And what I'm happy about is this chicken... Oh, you got a sneezy? This chicken would have just been thrown away. So Jason Abels, thank you so much. Really appreciate that connection. Um, and I'm sure Slinky does as well. Probably more than me. 
So he's just looking for some easy scraps, but he will definitely come back up to this, I assure you. But look at his tongue, and he gently just picks it out. There you go. There you go, good boy. So awesome, man. What do you guys think? Are you enjoying this? Seeing Slinky do his thing to this chicken? Should we do more feeding videos like this? Let me know. I think we're learning something about Slinks. I think we're learning that he is uh, definitely capable of shredding up whole chicken. Let's see what he does now. He's getting himself set up. We gotta call Lobo too. It's my Lobo call. Look at that guy go, yes. Lobo! I heard him barking, so I wanna make sure he's okay. There he is, good boy, Lobo. That's our boy, good boy, he listens. Oh, in the meantime, uh-oh, uh, he's gonna get a little of this. Oh, let's get it out. Uh, he'd probably be fine swallowing this, but just to be safe, I wanted to get it out. Now, I also took a big chance putting my fingers around him while he is eating. Here we go. Look at that. He's just using his weight. And then he backs up with those claws. Yes, good job. All right, hold on. Hold on, Slinks. Hold on, Slinks. Hold on, Slinks. Hold on, Slinks. All right. Whew. I'll tell you what. I think maybe it's time to kind of get rid of this uh, string and just see what he can do on the ground. Oh, man. How cool. Slinky is no joke. Oh, there he goes. Get it. All right. So much fun. Come on, Slinky. Keep going. Keep going. Get that string out of his way there. There you go. He's really doing a great job. I'm gonna try and cut. I'm gonna cut this real quick here. All right. There you go, buddy. That's it, it's all you now. Now it's just time for him to swallow it. Great job, Slinky. And again, you know how if I come close to that food, he'll give me a good whip. I just want to see. There it is. See, there's that whip. He does not like if people bother him when he's eating. He's going to have to use those claws to uh, make it more manageable to, to swallow. But he will. He'll shake his head. He'll use his claws. Right now, he's going to try and position it in a way that he feels he can swallow it. So cool. There he goes. Look at that. Shoving it right down, guys. Bone and everything. Wow. Oh, what a cool lizard. And he's able to breathe because his trachea is separate from his mouth. He's got a tube there that he's still able to breathe. So don't worry about him choking. For a lizard of this size, this prey item, no problem. Look at that. Jaw's real flexible like a snake. Not quite as flexible as a snake, but that lower jaw does expand. And it allows him to do what you're watching right now. He is finishing this up like a champ. Good job, Slinky. Holy smokes, guys. That's insane. He just took that whole thing right down. And I wanted to give them a nice heavy feed because I will be... Uh, doing a few things here the next couple of days and uh, they're gonna need to just be full holy smokes what a great job buddy good work what fun oh he wants to whip me he wants to whip me you're not gonna get me now I'm gonna leave that string hanging I, I might do this again but wow that was awesome guys so there you have it slinky getting himself a fantastic meal 
and uh, you guys were part of it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I love I love this lizard and I love sharing them with you and uh, I love spoiling them. All right, if you want to watch more videos, we have plenty of videos on the channel. Just go ahead and peruse, if you will. Just go exploring. Uh, you can see where Slinky lived before a few years ago and how far we've come here at the camp. And it's all because of your support. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and from his belly. I'll talk to you guys soon. Later. <laughs>